Okay, this is one of the tax table problems, and the income that we're taxing <clears throat> is 228,000. So you have to find where that would be in this table, and 220, excuse me, 228,000 is, if your taxable income is over 190,150, but not over 413,350. In between these two numbers is where you'd find 228,000. So they're gonna tax you an initial amount of this. So you gotta pay that plus 33%, 33%, but remember 33%, let me find a blue pen, boop, 33% would be 0.33 of the amount over, of means to multiply, of the amount over the 100 and, 90,150. So since their, their number is 228,000, you have to subtract the 190, 190,150. That's the low end here. So find out how much more. It's the amount over the 190. And then of course this here is the $46,278.75. So <clears throat> we have to do the math. So 228,000, and when I subtract the 190,150, that makes it a difference of this subtraction is 37,850. So when you multiply that times 0.33, that's going to be an additional $12,490.50 that they're going to add on to the $46,728.75. So the total tax bill, the grand total, if I'm hitting on my numbers correctly, 46000 I get equals... $58,769.25 worth of taxes. Let's see, type an integer or a decimal. That's a decimal to the nearest penny, so that one should work. And then I just have one more problem, and so I'm going to do them in the same video. Uh, consumer price index is a measure of inflation obtained by compa comparing current <clears throat> current prices with base prices in the years 1982 to 84. Use this information to complete the missing item in the following table for ice cream. Okay, they want to know what is the percent of increase. So you're going to be using the formula that says percent of increase is going to equal the new minus the old divided by the old. And so when we're looking at this, the new amount is the year 2009. So that's my new amount, which is going to go here. And then your old amount is back in the year 2000, which is this number. So I'll need to put that number here and here, old and old. So plugging in all those numbers, this is 193.1. 161.3 and another 161.3. So I'll go ahead and do this subtraction first. <clears throat> 193.1 minus 161.3 gives me a 31.8. And I'm going to divide that by a 161.3. And remember, this is going to give me a decimal answer 
I get 0 0.19714817111. But you are looking for a percentage here. So you have to multiply this times 100%. That's going to move the decimal two places to the right. So we're now looking at 19.7148171. And then they tell me round to one decimal place. So one decimal place would be this seven. The next number is only a one. So it's going to stay at 19.7%. And that's my final answer. And that is section 8.1.